Hi ladies, look at this one color wonder card. Isn't it so cute? And it's so easy to do. Lots of things you can do. This can be done with any color ink you have, not just the color I used. There's the card we're gonna make and the inside in the envelope. Join me in the craft room today as we put this together. All right, ladies, time for our one color wonder. The last time I chose Crushed Curry and Daisy Delight. I'm gonna be using those for my card today. Specifically from the Daisy Delight, I'm gonna be using the Large Daisy, this stem, this set of flowers that goes with that stem, this stem, and that flower that go together. I have my envelope, my piece of four, move this so you can see, four by five and a fourth for the inside of my card. I have a piece of Whisper White that's gonna be on the front of my card and it is three by three. I have my card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a fourth. I have a scrap piece of paper and I am maybe using some glimmer dots only because I really like them. But if you don't have glimmer dots, you can leave it plain or you can put in some um, rhinestones, whatever. All right, let's get started. First thing I need is my three by three and my crushed curry. And I'm gonna start with the big one right about there. Then I'm going to stamp and I'm going to off stamp them so it's not as noticeable but there's still a stem. All right now you have to stamp your little one and I'm going to be um, doing those full strength because the oops the flowers for it are really tiny and I'm varying my height All right. when you do this you need to check out your stamp and make sure you stamp it the right way um, the two that are far apart are at the bottom and the two close together are at the top All right. now this is a challenge because Okay, I'm not seeing very good unless I stick my head in the way. And it's a little harder when you have, there we go, two the same color. Got it, okay. You gotta line up the top, but then you gotta line up the bottom too. And if you're off, it's okay. It's a handmade card. There we go. All right. Now I'm gonna pull in my piece of um, crushed curry and my large daisy. Oops, I wanna fold this in half because I don't wanna go to the back of my card. All right. I'm going to stamp this all over. This is just going to give me some interest. that on top just like so. Now if you really want to make this more interesting or I guess to have more layers you could take a piece of crushed curry behind this and then put another piece of white behind it but I want to be able to see the background so I'm going to leave mine like that and I need to 
get my dimensionals on the back. I forgot to mention I'm going to be using dimensionals. There are some things everybody has as supplies, and dimensionals are usually one of them. Or some kind of pop dot in some form. But I have to admit, I've tried several, and I really like our Stampin' Up! ones. They're not too tiny, and they're not... Some of them are too poofy. And I'm adding a couple of extra in the center. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on like so. I probably could have added more. And I might just do it. Oh, well, let me see. Let me give it a try. Let's see what happens. If I put that underneath there, it won't go off. Of course, I gotta find everything. I just think it needs some more at the bottom. Sometimes you just don't know. Oops, don't wanna go that way. Too close. Okay, now, this way you won't, you won't be able to tell either if they're not lined up perfectly. This is an easier stamp set to use if you have two colors. There we go. Much better. Okay. Now I need to do the inside and the envelope. I figured I'll show you that one today. I've got all these little pieces floating around here that I took off. Let me see if I can get rid of those. All right, now. Um, goes into my card this way. Watch, watch what you do with that, ladies, because I've done that before too. Stamped it the wrong way. All right, I'm gonna, I'll stamp that. Put that there. And let me do the same thing with my envelope. And let me get my flower back in now. And we don't really need that anymore. Okay. Alright. Almost done. Oh, that's the inside. So, where's my glue? Card. All right, here we go, ladies. There it is, our one color wonder. Now you can put a sentiment on here if you want. Oh, I forgot my glitter dots. Yes, yes, yes. If I can find, oh, there they are. I love these things. Oh. And you know me, I like my bling, but these are just, oh, I just love the fact they're in different colors. I wish we had one for every color we had. Um, give me a big one. These things are stuck down really good, too. Put one there. Let's go a little smaller with a little lighter color. Then I think I'm going to do a tiny one in the really dark again. Sometimes I find it's better if you can pick it up, kind of bend the paper a little. Perfect. It's exactly what it needed, don't you think? All right, ladies, there it is. And there's the inside in the envelope for our One Color Wonder. 
I need to get my um, bins so we can see what we're going to do next. I hope I inspired you today. Share my channel, like it, bring some friends with you, sit down and have a party. That's what it is, a great big party. Thanks for visiting. Have a great day. Okay, here we go. Let's see what's down in the bottom. Maybe from the middle. Oh, I feel like I got two. No, I only have one. Watercolor wash. Oh, <laughs> that's a background stamp. That's going to be interesting. Watch it be an ugly color, too. Oh, no, Cajun craze. I used that before. You need to let me know, lo, no, ladies, do I need to take out the stamp sets I've done with the colors I've already done so we see some variety? I just feel like we're getting the same thing all the time. Oh, well, we'll see what happens next week. Join me next week as we do Watercolor Wash with Cajun Craze.